What's going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you a really simple way to sync your audio to your video. Now for this demonstration I'm going to be using a video I actually shot, it was at a bar mitzvah and I will be blurring the video out simply because it's under contract, I'm not allowed to show you the video. However, you will know it's synced when looking at the audio waves. So in the project I have the main video and then I have audio files. So the way I've actually done this is these audio files here are actually from the videos. So I made the uh, files from the videos into audio files. So this will all make sense when it comes to the syncing, simply because we cannot merge all of the videos together and sync the audio. For some reason, Premiere Pro is not allowing that. So what you do, convert all your files to audio. Now it's really simple if you know how to batch render, that's exactly what I done. And of course it's just audio, so the rendering time probably took like 10 seconds. So once they're all in your project, press Control A so everything is highlighted. Simply right click and then from here you can see it says Merge Clips. Select this, call this what you want it to be called in your project. Now mine is going to be her name, underscore main, mp4, merged. That should tell me it's merged so that's okay. And the audio right here, I'm going to keep it to one. And then from here, it says use audio time code from clip. And I'm going to select the first one, which is zero. So now I'm going to select OK. Now you can see down here, there has been another video added. Now if I drag and drop this onto the timeline, you can now see that we have the main clip. We have the main audio, but underneath we also have other clips. Now, there may be a problem. This is not always 100% accurate, but most of the time it is. So right now, as you can see, this is way off. So that part you're going to have to figure out yourself. And I'm not going to say it's always accurate because it's not. I have had some problems, but most of the time, as you can see, this one's very accurate. It is accurate and it will save you a lot more time then scrumming through the footage and placing each individual. So once again, um, they do come out like this. So on separate tracks, what I recommend you do, just highlight, right click and select unlink and bring them all up to the highest track possible. So just highlight them and drag them up like this. So if I zoom into this part, you can see audio waves are synced. If I zoom into this part, once again, audio waves are synced. Now it's just these two at the start that did mess up. Not 100% sure why, it's just how Premiere Pro is, but most of the time it does turn out correct. Now remember from the start, I told you that these audio files were actually taken from the camera. And the whole point of this is to sync up the camera online with the audio. Now just to make more sense of it, this is the main camera, which was just stationary. And then me was going around getting B-roll to put over the speech. So right here, um, what I done in Sony Vegas actually when I done the batch render, I put them out in order, all the files. Then I simply title them one to how many there was. I think there was five for this one. And that made everything a lot simpler. So if I right click this and select properties, this says um, at the end of it, zero. So that tells me this was the very first clip. Now I'm going to go ahead and get that clip. So I'm going to drag and drop it on. And as you can see, I'm going to drag this underneath. So then just like that, it will be synced up straight away. So you can see the camera footage is lined up with the actual main footage. And of course the footage of the audio we exported from the start. And then of course from there, just mute these tracks because they won't be needed. The only tracks we're going to be using is, of course, the main camera. But that's all you have to do. That's how simple it is to sync audio in Premiere Pro.